Hey guys, so I'm going to split the explanation of this question into two parts. Part one is going to deal more with negative externalities of consumption itself, or the first few paragraphs of the essay, while part two is going to focus more on the evaluation of the two policies. Now you can use part one to help you answer 10 market questions, such as explain the type of market failure or explain negative externalities of consumption. So now let's look at the overview of your essay structure first. Your essay should consist of three parts. The first part should outline the problem or why the NEC should be dealt with. This would include diagrams, theory explanations, and consequences with applications of real world data. Your second part is your first policy. So using diagrams and theories, explain how the policy affects the current situation of the NEC and evaluate it using three advantages and three disadvantages. If you don't have time, do two pros and two cons, but make sure that you have approximately the same weight for the good sides and the bad sides. So following the same idea, you would do your third part, which is your second policy. Now, when you're writing your essay, make sure to permeate an example throughout your writing. Pick one example that best illustrates this topic and then apply your theories and explanations to it constantly. Also, make sure that your arguments are always balanced. It will demonstrate how you can see both sides of the picture and that your logic is always well-rounded. When it comes to NEC, you usually get these three topics. Cigarettes, alcohol, or sugary drinks. It's either specifically stated in the question that you get asking you to evaluate the situation or you would use it as an example in your writing. So today we're going to focus on cigarettes and use it as an example to illustrate how to structure this essay. So the first paragraph will involve two main tasks. First, lay down all the definitions relevant to this question and then describe the main example that you're going to use throughout the passage. So the definitions would include market failure, NEC, and demerit goods. Consult a textbook to write down the definitions. So for our cigarette example, we have to find a real life example of cigarette consumption that has caused negative side effects. So pick a country that you're familiar with or whose statistics are available to you on the internet and then write down some of the key information or data about the status quo of the cigarette epidemic in that country. So in this essay, I'm going to use the US as an example. So beginning with paragraph two, we are going to start our theory explanations. Paragraph two will mainly cover marginal private benefits and marginal social benefits. In this paragraph, we have to not only explain the theories of these two terms, but also explain what they represent in our real world case. So I am going to assume that you are familiar with negative externalities of consumption. So let's refer to its diagram. Marginal private benefits are the benefits to consumers for consuming one more unit of good. Marginal social benefits are the benefits to society for consuming one more unit of good. After explaining these two terms, we also have to briefly explain that we are equating marginal private costs to marginal social costs because right now we are investigating demand related problems and not supply related. After explaining all these theories, we have to apply these theories to our example. We will explain what MSB and MPB each represent in the United States cigarette consumption case. So marginal private benefits of smokers are the benefits that they derive from smoking cigarettes or the feelings of relief or satisfaction. On the other hand, marginal social benefits of smoking is represented by the premature deaths, the diseases, the infant mortalities, the smoke-related health problems in the US. By illustrating the real-life depictions of MSB and MPB, we discover that the marginal social benefits of smoking is really not that desirable, whereas marginal private benefits might actually be desirable to that smoking individual. So we can conclude that marginal private benefits exceeds marginal social benefits by far in terms of cigarette smoking. So let's move on to the third paragraph, or our most important body paragraph. In the third paragraph, we have to address three things. First, we have to illustrate the social optimum and its conditions, and then we describe the current equilibrium where there is negative externalities of consumption and how it differs from the social optimum. And lastly, we will describe the external costs. 
The social optimum is given by the intersection of MSC and MSB, where the society is producing the exactly desirable quantity, where there is no extra costs or extra benefits. So in your essay, you will describe this point of production as allocatively efficient and socially desirable. You will also describe the quantity and price, QOPT and POPT. Then you explain how the current equilibrium settles at a point where MPB equals MPC, where the private cost equals private benefits and the rational individual consumes at this quantity. Now, at this equilibrium, we have cigarette consumption of QE units and price PE. Comparing and contrasting the current and socially optimum equilibriums, we can see that QE is larger than QOPT, or more units of cigarettes are consumed than what is socially optimum, and it is in the society's interest to decrease cigarette consumption until we get closer to social optimum equilibrium. We can observe that at the current quantity of cigarette consumption, marginal social costs is larger than marginal social benefits, and the vertical difference between the two represent the external costs. In view that we have to apply our theories to the real-world example, we will explain what the external costs are represented by in the case of cigarette consumption in the U.S. So at the end of the paragraph, we will describe that nearly half a million Americans die prematurely from smoking every year or a nearly 300 billion US dollars are directed to treating smoke related diseases and don't quote me on these numbers but you could do your research and write down some relevant information at the end of the paragraph illustrating the external costs arising from consuming too many cigarettes all right so now we're almost done with the first half of the essay Paragraph 4 is basically a transition paragraph between the theories and the evaluation parts of the essay. Paragraph 4 will involve a more detailed depiction of the consequences of the negative externality of consumption and more data and facts, and basically just illustrating how urgent it is for the governments to intervene. Now, if your question was explain a type of market failure or explain negative externalities of consumption, you can stop right here and your essay would be about 500 to 600 words. However, if you were answering evaluate two policies to reduce negative externalities of consumption, you will have to move on to further explanation of policies and evaluations. So in the next video, I will explain two types of government interventions to deal with NEC, indirect taxes and negative advertisements. I will explain their respective effects on the current situation of NEC and how to structure their evaluations with three advantages and three disadvantages. And I will see you in that next video.